<clears throat> Welcome back guys. Blue Line Gaming back. We're gonna start a Madden series here. Mad we're in Madden 20. I've made a couple changes. So uh, Tom Brady's on the Buccaneers as you can see. Uh, keeping up with the times a little bit here. Um, Philip Rivers with the Colts. Andrew Luck is still with them. Uh, I took his overhaul down to like 12 though so he basically doesn't exist. Um, what other changes I made? I'm trying to think what other changes. I, um, I did send Nick Foles to the Bears, and I did release Cam Newton also. So he's in the free agents. We'll just wait for a uh, team to pick him up. So we are starting a new franchise. Uh, the goal is to relocate year one and tank the first season so we can get a bunch of draft picks. I will play as the owner so we can relocate. I've kicked around a couple teams I'd considered um, the Bills but I kind of wanted a quarterback that's kind of on his way out um, I considered the two teams I kind of fell upon was the Bengals and the Lions I think I'm gonna go with the Lions because I want to play in the NFC so start your season with recommended settings. We are going to, to change, change, change the starting point as oh wait, let's change the role to owner and we'll be a financial mogul. It just gives you a little more money. Um, name, it doesn't really matter. How about uh, how about uh, we'll go with uh, Joe Exotic's long lost brother John Exotic. I got done watching the uh, Tiger King on Netflix. It's kind of on my mind, I guess. So we'll go with John Exotic. Great name. And we'll go... Um, let's change the starting point. We're going to do preseason just so we can get some trades in. So we can try to tear apart this team. We'll go... Um, I'm going to go all pro. I gonna change it to all Madden once I get some few games under my belt but uh, I haven't played Madden in a f ugh, probably about four or five months so I'm just gonna kind of get get back into it and then I, I want to switch it to all Madden I think it's better that way uh, instant starter doesn't really matter for the, since you're the owner uh, coach firing I mean technically I'm the owner so I don't think it matters but I'll just turn it on just for the heck of it uh, relocation settings. I'm gonna change to every one. That way the computer can relocate. Um, let's see. Unlimited. Change it to. I'm gonna change it to 12 minutes since the accelerator clock is on. I may end up changing that back. Um, full control. All right, perfect. Uh, let's turn the Phil roster. I hate that because guys, just random guy will pop up in your team that you have no idea who you are. And we'll go to league settings. Oh, I just there. My bad. Uh, okay, let's go. John Exotic is the new owner of the Lions, and he is going to move out of Detroit. See what's so first things first one thing I always like to do is especially when I'm building a team is uh, we're gonna go to the schemes and we're gonna set the scheme so we're gonna go to um, West Coast spread I think that's kind of a diverse we're gonna go to we're gonna change it to a base 4 3 we're gonna bring in Andy Reid's offense, offensive style, and uh, let's find something that has a lot of four three. We're gonna switch everything. What is Patricia now? He's three four. Um, I really hate to change everything to a four three. Just, uh, but we're gonna switch over to a three. Just because I prefer that a little better. Yeah, we'll go with uh, go to Jacksonville since he's got a bunch of four three sets. So we'll go to four. We'll go to that, and let's go to let's go ahead and get the relocation started. Go to stadium. That's where we go. Yeah. So 
blah blah blah. Let's go and relocate. So it has started. And then we will go to. Oh, I'm sorry, we're not gonna roster. We're gonna add some people to the trade block here. Uh, I prefer adding to the trade block. Just I feel like you get offers. You don't have to sit and wait or sit and try to find the best thing. I think I think this is a little easier. You can sift through the offers a little better. So we're gonna add Stafford. I'm a big fan of Matthew Stafford, but I mean he's 31. He's hasn't really done much the last few years. So no 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 offense to Stafford fans out there, but um, well, I don't know why I did that. I meant to go back into the roster. So, um, carry on Johnson. He's 22 years old. He's 81 rating. I mean, I don't, I'm going to add him to the trade block. I don't want to trade him away, but man, that being that young, he's got to be worth something. We'll see what he can get for him. I had CJ Anderson there. Um, let's see here. Marvin Jones, uh, I mean, speed of 90, acceleration 91, catches 87, six foot two. I mean, he's worth a lot. Let's add him to the trade block. Kenny Galladay. I'm a huge fan of Kenny Galladay. Six foot four, 25 years old. Uh, I mean, what else do you want out of wide receiver? So we're gonna keep him around. Danny Amendola. I think this is his last year. He's on a one-year contract here. I think so. We're gonna add him to the trade block just because we need to get something out of him. Uh, Jesse James. This is one thing I forgot. The Lions had um, is T.J. Hawkinson. I mean that guy is awesome. So we. Oh, I didn't. No, I did not mean to. So he has a hidden development. So we're gonna go Jesse James. We're gonna trade. Whoop! I'm all over the place here. We will add him to the trade block. And I'm not going to mess around with the offensive line too much. Honestly, I don't have a lot of value on the offensive line. Um, and I don't like messing with it too much, honestly. I like drafting guys and sticking them there for years and just kind of leaving them alone. Deshaun Hand, 23 years old. Um, he's 6'3", 297. Uh, he's got decent speed. He'll actually fit in decent at, in a 4-3. Um, so we're going to keep him around. He's young enough. So Trey Flowers um, will also fit in pretty good on the 4-3. He's 26. We're going to keep them or keep these two guys around. They're going to be good anchors. Um, Damon Harrison, he's getting up there in age. He's 895. So uh, I'm going to add him to the trade block. Here you can see what it's only because he is a 95. Uh, I think that's maybe that'll bring in some draft his improvement. So let's see what we have. Trade offers for Damon Harrison. Let's see what we have. Uh, so I'm after the 2020s. So a lot of you kind of have to filter through these. There's a 21 second. Man, that's a good one. That's tempting. There's a third round pick from the Titans. There's a fifth rounder. There's a four from the Ravens. There's a three and a seven. That's not terrible. We might go with that. There's a three and a six from the Raiders. And this guy's rated a 95. So I have to weigh that too. There's a three and a four. see what else we have here a lot of 21s there's a four there's a seven there's a five really nothing that really blows me away but defense tackles are easy to find in the draft um, will I find another 95 overall guy no um, man that's tough I just don't know if I'll find getting a third round pick for this guy um, I'm going to go ahead and decline these trades. I know I'm parting ways with this team, and I might change my mind here in a minute. Let's look at these other ones. Let's see what I get from Marvin Jones. Uh, fifth rounder. Fifth rounder. Uh, there's a third. That's not terrible for him. Uh, let's see. 
There's a third from the Chiefs. That's going to be a high for them. There's a uh, there's a third rounder from the Bills, and there's a, oh there's one from the Bengals. That's going to be a good one. Let's go with this one. Let's get a third rounder for him. And let's see what else I get for Darius. Oh gosh, this this has got to be first rounders, honestly. There's a six. There's a second. There's a fifth. There's a third. Yeah, I'm not seeing anything that's blowing me away. There's a second. I'm going to not worry about that. I am going to go ahead and trade. I'm going to go ahead and take this trade from the Patriots, I think, real quick. And where's it at? Where's it at? There it is. I'm going to go ahead and take this one. Just because I'm not going to trade Darius Slay. That way I do get some draft picks. I know I got some other guys on the block. So. Um, all right, let's see what next week brings. And another injury. Okay, trade offers. Matthew Stafford and Darius Slay. I am I'm gonna keep him. Let's just decline that. Okay, Matthew Stafford. Let's see one offer. Okay, uh, and it's a fifth rounder basically. No, I think I can do better than that. And this is sometimes what happens with the, the trade offers. Sometimes they're just horrible. And you do have to go do a manual trade. So we'll see. There's, we'll wait for some other ones. Let's see what we can get. So we're going to add Matthew Stafford. So let's find a team that needs a QB. Let's go to QB. Where are we at here? Okay. So Bears have Nick Foles. Uh, Andy Dalton, Josh Allen. So the Broncos picked up Cam Newton, looks like it. That's uh, a lot better than Drew Locke. That, man, that'd be quite a cool trade for Drew Locke. Make him my, uh, my guy. Let's see. Tom Brady, Kyler Murray. All right, so we have the Chargers. They have Tyrod Taylor as their QB. That may be a good one to try. Let's see what kind of draft picks I can get. Let's just try a first rounder for... Let's see what happens. I need a first rounder pretty bad. Um, I didn't even see what happened. Not interested. What can I... What else do they need? They need a right outside linebacker and a right tackle. Ooh, a defensive tackle. Oh, I traded my defensive tackle. Oh, I wish I would have done that now. But they do need a tight end. I wonder if I can add Jesse James to that mix and get that first rounder. Let's see what happens. And it's accepted. All right. So we got a first round pick from the Chargers. I could have maybe got a fifth in there too, but... Um, We'll take it. So, I really wanted an extra first round pick. I really hope the draft class is good this year. <laughs> Let's go to free agents and see who my quarterback is going to be this year. Um, Blaine Gabbert, Chad Kelly, TJ Bathard. Paxton Lynch, he would be horrible. He had some starting time with the Broncos there. Uh, Bryce Petty and uh, Brett Ripien. Now he's a rookie. He's got decent speed and he's got a strong arm. What's his? They call that a strong arm. Eighty-two. I guess he just sucks at everything else. He's really not terrible. Um, Let's go with Brett Ripien. And he's a Boise State guy. Got to root for him then. So we'll go for Brett Ripien. Okay, we're going to start a relocation. So let's look at our available cities, where we're going to go. Um, London's obviously huge. Las Vegas, San Diego. Um, St. Louis would be pretty fun since they did lose a team. Oklahoma City, um, that's always, that'd be a good one. Houston, I mean, already has a team. I don't know why you'd want to put a second team there, but I guess if it's a big enough city. Dublin, that'd be a fun play, place to play. Austin, that's already, Texas. So the two I always kind of tend towards are 
Uh, let's see if I can find it. There it is. Toronto, Salt Lake City, and Portland. I know that's three. So those are kind of the three I always like because, I mean, they already have NBA, NBA and some... Uh, they already have an NBA team. It's a small market, but loyal. So let's do uh, let's do Salt Lake City. That'll be fun. Okay, we're going to choose our name now. So, of course, we go with the Lions. We have the Elks, the Flyers, and the Pioneers. Uh, I really don't like any of those. I kind of like the Flyers. Uh, they all have the same rating. Well, let's go with the Pioneers. I don't know what their jerseys even look like, so we're going to go with the Pioneers. Okay, we are choosing our uniforms now, and those are ugly. Whew. Oh, boy. This might be a fun series. Uh, which one do the fans like? Are they like those? Those aren't terrible, I guess. So they have different helmets. I kind of like that gray helmet. I feel like the logo is going to show up better there but i like those jerseys especially the away jerseys those are all right we're going with this one style one all right it is week 10 we are two in six we're gonna check see how we're doing uh we're just gonna check our stats real quick see how everybody's doing um so ripian's thrown for 2100 yards 14 touchdowns two picks with a pass rating of 104. That's actually not terrible. Whoops. Um, Kyrion Johns, we don't have much of a running game, so it looks like it. 3.1. Theo Riddick's picked up some. Maybe he's been injured. Amendola's been leading the charge. Uh, 49 receptions, 613, 7 touchdowns. Holy smokes. Um, and then Kenny Galladay's been bringing up the second place and Hawkinson's having a decent rookie year uh, let's see who is so Rashawn Melvin's leading the tackles has a cornerback he must be playing the slot maybe all right Trey Flowers has four sacks like to see those numbers up a little bit and uh, Justin Coleman has two picks Darius Slay has one uh, okay and then let's check out the standing. Let's see where we are in the draft pick race right now. So in the entire NFL, the Chiefs are eight and one. Saints are six and one. Let's check out. We are third. So we and I will get the third pick, and that's not terrible. So we got the Chargers' first pick. Let's see where the Chargers are. Uh, they appear to be doing pretty good. They're the the 14th best team in the league right now. All right, let's check our stats one last time. So Rippian almost hit 4,000 yards, 27 touchdowns, 8 picks, rating of 98. So he went down a little bit towards the end, but that's a pretty darn good year, honestly, from any quarterback. Kieran Johnson almost hit 1,000 yards, 852, 5 touchdowns, 3.5 yards a carry. That's not terrible. We will definitely take that. Um, Danny Modola clips the 1,000 mark with 12 touchdowns. And Galladay almost 1,000 with 6. And Hawkinson had a pretty good rookie year. No touchdowns, though. We'll change that next year. And defense, Slay at 72. Um, decent year, looks like it, defensive-wise. We had eight sacks from Trey Flowers, and yeah, Trey or Tracy Walker jumped up to four. All right, let's look at the yearly awards. Who did what? So Mark Mariota, of all people, who lost his starting job in real life, won the NFL MVP, went nine, six, and one. Mahomes went 12 and four. Let's see if we have anybody. No, we do not. Uh, Coach of the year, definitely won't be. It will be Andy Reid going 12 and four. For the AFC, Mariota won the Offensive Player of the Year. Um, let's jump over to the NFC, see what we did, if anything. So Carson Wentz took the Offensive Player of the Year. Yeah, we didn't have much. Defensive Player of the Year, I doubt we'll have anything either. Offensive Rookie of the Year, we should have. Oh, wow, Ripian took second. 
Legacy score of 79, and there's Hawkinson. So we had some decent rookies come out. Uh, I don't know how to say that guy's name, so I'm not going to try it, but he's on there. Best quarterback. Let's see if our Rippian made it. He did not. Uh, wait, hang on. Did I see Jameis Winston playing for the Giants? So Jameis Winston's playing for the Giants, apparently. I did not know that. Uh, Nick Foles had a decent year, it appears. Will Greyer started for the Panthers. Let's check out the AFC, see what uh, everybody's doing over there. Mayfield had a decent year. Phillip Rivers came through. Lamar Jackson. Andy Dalton's trying to make a name for himself. Oh, he went 10 and 6, too. Wow. And then Deshaun Watson. So, And then uh, Tom Brady went 5 and 10. So there you go, Buccaneers. That's what we got to look forward to. Uh, running backs, I doubt we'll have anything up there since we didn't eclipse a thousand. Wide receiver, we might have. Yep, there's Danny Amendola. Decent year. Offensive line, I don't think we have anybody that's good enough to make this list. No. Defensive line, no. Linebackers, I doubt it. DBs, Tra uh, Tracy Walker had a decent year. Um, he's definitely have to keep an eye on him. Uh, Lions, Matt Prater, I didn't even keep an eye on him at all. So, all right. So uh, we showed that. Let's check out our standings real quick. Let's see what our draft pick is going to look like. Uh, Chiefs took home top seed, so they won some games towards the end. Let's look for the Chargers. Um, all right, they lost some more games. They took so they're twenty third. So that'll be what uh, decent draft pick and we'll. So we're second to last. So we'll have second in 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So we should have second and 10. Let's resign our staff. Matt Patricia. Um, sorry, man. See you later. Uh, look, that's a. Let's go and check the playoff schedule. So the. Wild card. The Browns beat the Bengals 23 to 9. 49ers beat the Redskins 24 to 10. Titans beat the uh, Broncos 17 to 7. And the Packers beat the Saints 31 to 10. So is that. So Mariota is playing that good? Holy moly. Let's just look at this real quick. He is. Man. Who would have thunk it? 221 yards, two touchdowns. So I guess. Mariota's playing good in this game? I did not know that. Okay. Uh so, I know he's 33. But let's see if I can get him for, let's just try something. Five-year contract. Let's do, $750,000 a year. If he has nobody else bidding on him, let's see what happens. And I know I can get him at the end of free agency, but you're going to sign a one-year contract, and it's going to be a lot. So let's just see if it's even more. All right, let's see who we got. Emmanuel Sanders accepted my contract. Five years, one million. What was it? One million a year. Wow. So sometimes you can pull that off if nobody is bidding on them. Draft week. All the effort you spend scouting. All right, let's head to the draft. Whenever you're ready. We are, looks like second, so um, let's see who, um, let's see who they're going to draft. Usually it happens pretty good. Okay, they, so they took, um, usually it shows who, the, okay, so there it is. He, they took a wide receiver, so um, I'm going to pause the draft just I don't plan on taking that long, but I do want to 
I, I hate that timer going off. It just makes me freak out. All right, so we could go after these guys. A center that would be a good going to go after. Um, cornerback, right tackle. We need offensive line so bad. Um, and the closest quarterback we have is the second round. I think we can get him with our next pick or even our third pick. I'd hate to let it go. We do have this guy here. He has a 5'9", and a, oh, look at that combine grade. combine grade. I guess all the quarterbacks are that bad. So this guy is A-plus on throw power and then decent accuracy. And then this guy, I think, is he has decent throw. Is that the same guy? Okay, yeah. Decent throw power. Either one of these guys I think would be fine. And then you have this guy in the fifth round. Um, so I think we can skip the quarterback on this pick and go after somebody a little more need. Um, we do need a cornerback. Man, we need offensive line real bad. Um, so I think we can probably... And I think there's plenty of offensive linemen down the road, I think. There's a right tackle. So, um, I think I'm going to go after, what is, let's see what he is. Um, he's an early first round projection, man coverage is good, awareness is real good. Uh, let's draft this guy at Washington State. And I reached, he's a 77 overall, uh, we'll take that, he's ranked third in true value. And I drafted him at second. I don't know how that's reaching, but that's all right. I think we did all right on that one. All right, let's go ahead and skip ahead to our next pick. All right, let's see where we are. We could maybe look at trading this away also. Ooh, we don't have anybody here. So there's a... Outside linebacker that's a speed rusher. I don't really need him. There's a left end, and there's a tackle. I wouldn't mind picking up that tackle. Let's just see for shits and giggles what we can get for trading it away. Um, second, ugh. I'd like to see in the first round if I can. No, those aren't very good. Pick 35 wouldn't be terrible, but we gave away a lot for this pick. Uh, let's go ahead and pick a player. And I forgot we do have all those other picks from the other players we traded. So let's go ahead and go after... Well, where's our quarterbacks at here? Oh, man. What is he, early second round? He's mid-second round. Uh, if he's not there, we have him, Matt Glenn. So let's go... I think we can wait one more pick. I think he'll still be there. Um, maybe. Let's go after this uh, right tackle because we need offensive line real bad. Let's go and draft him. He's a good pick. He's a 78 overall. He is ranked second in true value, and you drafted him at 10. Well, all right. Two good picks right off the bat. skip ahead and draft and let's see if that we have a quarterback um, all right so all right right off the bat we have a wide receiver okay so there's the quarterback we wanted so he is still there that worked out I do like him better than the other guy he has a throw power is really something you really can't fix from Colorado State. All right, let's see what happens. I reached. He's a 69 overall. Oh, and he's ranked 44th. Oh, we're gonna be. We may have to sign a free agent to help this guy along. All right, let's get to our next pick. We could always. Pull a Washington Redskins and draft two guys and let them compete. Also, um, all right. 
So we have a whiteout that's a deep threat. There was a whiteout that, if I remember, I scouted him. I think he's already off the board. He scouted in the first round. He was projected to be somewhere else. Um, so the next one, we have a defensive tackle. We do need a defensive tackle pretty bad. Um, and he is a run stopper. Six foot four, 306 pounds. He's a big boy. A strong safety. And let's, let's go after... We are good on wide receivers, honestly. Since we signed Emmanuel Sanders. And we'll pick one up in the lower rounds. Let's go after this defensive tackle. Let's see what he does. And he's a 66. And okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Alright, let's skip ahead and draft. Alright, let's make our selection. Where is that other quarterback at that was decent? So he is... Oh, so Matt Glenn is still there. And we're in round three, so I can draft him still. And this Reed Underwood kid. Let's see what else we have. Um, that I've, so we have a guard. It goes in the fourth round. And then a defensive tackle that's going to jump up. to. So there's another defensive tackle. I may draft him too, and there's Glenn. Um, so I know it's third round, but this guy projects in the second. So let's go ahead and take him. The Saints are now on the clock. And he's a 68. So I have two bits of defense tackles in the 60s. Well, I started off real good, and now I'm not doing that hot. So let's go to our next pick. Uh, okay. So, I think I may pick this other quarterback up. Where's the other one at? Matt Glenn. So, he's a A, A minus B. And this other guy is a. Yeah, his accuracy is going to be way off. Uh, let's go after this Matt Glenn. We'll just draft two quarterbacks and see. So he's a 66. So, all right, we'll just have two two rookie quarterbacks on our roster. Whoops, I hit the wrong one. All right, so now we're starting to get into the place where we really haven't scouted a lot of these guys. Um, yeah, all these guys are unscouted. So let's go after Team Need now. Um, So, I mean, look at our grades. They are horrible. Um, left outside linebacker. All these guys are going to be horrible. There's a six and there's a halfback. I do want to pick a wide out. Let's go after a wide receiver now. These guys are going undrafted. He's in the fifth. He's a slot and six foot two, medium root. Um, combine, he has a decent combine grade. This guy's a little better one. Let's draft this Leo Jones kid. Let's see what he does. The Dolphins are now on the clock. He's a 61. Holy moly. The Salt Lake City Pioneers are now on the clock. Yeah, all right, let's see here. Um, this left outside linebacker is really intriguing me. Um, ah, screw it. Let's pick him. Let's see what happens. He's a 63. That's why nobody was picking him. I found out why. The Salt Lake City Pioneers are now on the clock. All right, let's see what else we have. Lots of wide receivers. Uh, cornerbacks. There's a man-to-man. -man. This guy's a little better combine grade. He's from Florida. He's from Kentucky. Let's go after the big school. Let's see what happens. The Cardinals are now on the clock. He's a 60. The 
Salt Lake City Pioneers are now on the clock. Probably should just simulate it. I'm sure the computer can do a better job than me right now. Lots of wideouts. Uh, let's see what else we have. There's a cornerback. There's a guard. There's a left-end speed rusher. Let's go after this speed rusher from Idaho State. The Dolphins are now on the clock. He's a 54. Holy smokes. Next user pick. So we are in the... Let's go and see what the computer can do here. We'll go and simulate it. They took a halfback. Sometimes they do draft on team need, so it helps out a little bit. Um, all right, let's see. Let's see our draft recap. So we drafted a 77 overall cornerback, 78 overall right tackle, and everything else is pretty crappy. This quarterback is a 69 and a 66 quarterback. So overall, we came away with a decent cornerback and a decent right tackle that I can move probably to left if I need once that other guy retires. So, all right. Let's look at the adjust roster real quick. Let's look at that right tackle. I want to see if I can move him anywhere. He's a 78. He will start. Um, I can move him to left guard where I really need help. Let's see what he does at right guard since I already have Wagner there. Let's just see what happens. He's already a 78. Oh, Bubba. And, okay. Uh, let's see what he did. He is a 79. So we're going to leave him at left guard then. We just got a 79 left guard. We'll take that. So, um, where are we? So, guys, I'm going to end the... Uh, episode here um i got an hour and 40 minutes of recording i'm gonna try to edit it down to as short as i possibly can so i got a lot of editing to go um i'll try to